For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Let's see what is this Nachos architecture and how it checks the services and how it grabs the status in terms. So here I have the Nachos server. Nachos server has Nachos process scheduler and it has some inbuilt plugins example say that check underscore nrpe check underscore nt check underscore snmp or check underscore ncpa those are the plugins you have on the nacho server that plugins actually what it will do is that it will execute the remote server plugin so if you are monitoring the remote windows server then you are going to install the Nachos agent on that remote uh, Windows server. Then that also contains some internal plugins to that host, the remote host. Then the Nachos will call those plugins to execute on the remote device. Then grab the status and the, the results will be sent back to the Nachos. Then the processor, the Nachos scheduler will process the data and if there is any status change example that the service was okay before but now it is critical or now it is warning then what it will do is that it will notify the contact person or it will notify the admin whoever is configured the email address or the SMS then it will also store this performance data into the RRD database so this is the high level not just architecture how it's actually checks the uh, status of, on the remote device then it will how the data is processed inside of the Nagios. so let's see that there are some terminologies in the Nagios. whenever we are uh, configuring the Nagios, we talk something uh, in let's see some terminologies on the Nagios. plugins which are external programs that can consist of either a script or compiled executable so plugins means which are examples say that the scripts which you can execute on the server the remote device to get the some uh, status or the stats host is a server or any network device which you can which you want to monitor so which you can monitor this is called as an a host service is any metric example say that the cpu memory usage or the status of the service anything like example web server so that is in a service status users who has access to the nagios web interface contacts individual administrator or end user who has uh, the email address or the phone number to notify if there is any problem identified by the monitoring system contact groups grouping the contacts together the example say that you have a multiple you uh, contacts in your team then you can just combine them together as a contact group acknowledgement temporarily suppresses the alert notification so example say that uh, if you get a, some alert saying that the service is um, down then immediately if you say that acknowledge what it will do is that it will again send the notifications to the other administrators saying that this notification or the, this alert is acknowledged by the so and so user so that which means the user is already the administrator is already working on that alert so other administrators won't waste time again working on the same alert downtime downtime is an a planned activity example say that there is an a upgrading of the software or the host hardware replacement or the any hardware upgrades or the replacement of the hardware so that is called as an a planned downtime latency difference between scheduled to run and when it does actually run so difference between the scheduled to run and 
when it does actually run so example say that it scheduled to run at um, 5 p.m. but it does maybe it run at 5 10 p.m. so that's the difference in the latency state so there is a states are in the largest checks while it is checking so there is the states called soft and the add to avoid the false positive alert so this is very very important how it uh, converts the soft state to hard state and uh, how it is trigger the alert so we are going to learn in upcoming uh, video session um, it's not a problem but as of now state you can understand that agent so usually demands are services that must be placed on the client to listen for connection coming from the Nacho server so example say that uh, the demand is running on the agent side and uh, whenever the Nacho sends any connection example say that hey what is the CPU utilization then it should communicate to the Nacho server using that demand are the service that's called an agent host groups grouping the host example say that so you can categorize the host example say that the users are based out of the location example these are us based servers or these are located in india or these are located in china something like that are the oracle servers are the based on the role what role is playing that host you can combine them as a group or if it is based out of the uh, operating system based or any platform so whatever the you can see that maybe a client based uh, group or a maybe a different groups you can based out of so you can just make them as a group so that you can easily understand okay this is a Oracle server or this is a Windows server or this is a um, located in US something like that service groups so you can also group the multiple services together or maybe a similar groups together so you can understand where web services is hosted and which host so example say that what are the hosts running the web services so you can just simply group all of the web services together you can simply see in a single screen say that okay is there any status issues or is there any status down or anything is happening on the service group so let's see what is this um, active passive checks in a Nagios. so you have a two kind of checks while you are configuring the Nagios. so Nagios has a active checks and the passive passive checks so sometimes you have the network connectivity in between the servers and the agents so sometimes not so because uh, sometimes they have uh, some limited connectivity to in between the host and the Azure server and the agent so in terms so which process or uh, the which checks is compatible to use so that's the uh, scenario here let's see not your server um, and it has a some check logic or the check command and it sends the execute plugins on the remote device or the remote agent say that uh, similar like it execute the um, CPU utilization plugin on the agent so that's called as an a active check so the Nagios server initiate the command and it gets the output from the agent and in terms of the passive checks what happens is that the external applications example say that I I configured the cron tab to execute some sta status on the remote device then what happens it executes every certain time and they store the output into the external command file then the external command logic go and grab that check logic so basically the agent will send the data to the Nacho server in a passive mode so what is the difference exactly between the active checks and the passive checks so active checks are initiated by the Nacho server and the passive checks is initiated by the external applications and the in terms of the active checks the results submitted to the scheduler directly for processing and results are in passive checks results are stored in external command file and later it will be submitted to the Nacho server for the for the processing
so that's the basic difference between the active and follow us on social networking site uh, facebook page is uh, at linux arkit it's www.facebook.com slash linux arkit you can see this url and you can just go ahead and uh, click on this like button uh, so that you can follow us on facebook uh, page updates uh, next one uh, the social networking site is instagram instagram id is arkit.co.in you can follow us on um, instagram as well for the latest uh, notifications um, twitter twitter.com slash ark a ravikumar 48 so this is the twitter account you can follow us for the latest uh, uh, tweets and updates uh, for latest articles if you want to see any new articles which is published on my blog and website you can go here which is the blog is https slash slash server iphone computer.com uh, website is https slash slash arkitco.in and email address if you have any queries and questions you, you can contact me via email like uh, it, which is a ravikumar 48 at gmail.com official address is uh, a ravi at server iphone computer.com so last but not least uh, please subscribe to the uh, youtube channel which is tech arkit youtube channel